She's only got three pieces of rope. Now work with me, everybody. You should know your lines. She's got one rope that's too long. Oh. Very good. Hold on to that one there. She's got one rope that's too big. Oh. Too big. Very good. And all together, everybody, one rope that's just right. Fantastic. You guys know your lines. See, I didn't have to bring the cue cards with me after all. They wouldn't fit in my pocket anyway. Now, of course, being the little princess perfectionist that she was, Goldilocks had to have everything just right. So she decided to make the ropes nice and neat and tight. You can't find it. She brought that end up like that. Right? She brought that end up like that. She brought that end up like that. And then she said, I'm gonna hop. What is this? Then I'm gonna hop. Oh, wait, that was a different story, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that was the three little pigs. I'm sorry, I'm such a ham. Uh, uh, somebody stop me! No, actually what she did was she snapped her fingers, did the magic wave, do the magic wave for me. Excellent job! You're a natural! And now we just give the ropes a little tug like that. And now we've got one, we've got two, we've got three ropes that are all just right! Fantastic! Golden locks and the three ropes coming soon to a theater near you. Oh wait, but you know what? Golden locks and Grandma was coming over later on that night, and she figured Grandma might want to see that cool rope trick. So she picks up the phone, she dials Grandma's number, she goes, boop, 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 boop. and she says, Hey, Grandma, <laughs> what big eyes you... Oh wait, no, that was a different story too, wasn't it? Oh no, that was Little Red, that was her cousin down the road. No, actually what she did was she takes the ropes, wraps them back up in the ball, snaps the fingers, does the magic wave, do the magic wave again. You are fantastic. You want my job next week? I'm going to do great. Now, I'll tell you what. Here, would you take that rope there? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? There, what about, what about that one there? Wait a minute. Look at that, folks. Too small, too big, and just, just right. Holy locks in the three ropes. A big hand for my lovely assistant. Take it back. You know what I really like? Card I like tricks. card tricks. You guys like card tricks? Yes! Yeah. Everybody likes card tricks. You know, the funny thing is, I was trying to save some money the other day. I went down to the dollar store. I bought this deck of cards, got them home, opened them up, and found out why they were only a buck. There's not not They're all blank. Kind of like my mind will be tomorrow morning, but that's a different story. Now, I admit, I was a little upset at first, but I figured, hey, I'm a magician. I can deal with it. Get it? Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> the jokes just get better and better. No, not really. They don't. <laughs> but I don't want to do these cards. I do these cards to practice hypnosis. Oh. Oh. Did you folks notice that I hypnotized you a moment ago? No. Subliminal suggestion works really good too, doesn't it? No, but you see, now that I have you under hypnotic control, I can project images into your mind. For example, if I concentrate just a little bit, I might be able to make you see a card appear just like that. One down, 51 to go. Let's see, I'll concentrate some more. How about, how about a spade to go with that club? Maybe, oh, how about a jack this time? Or maybe if I just concentrate really, really, really hard, I could make you see the entire deck of the magic. I love that look on people's faces. That's why I'm a magician. Oh wait, but you know what? I can't leave you folks hypnotized. You might hurt yourselves. So everybody snap out of it. I think he normally looks that way. Never mind. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And you realize, of course, that it's truly all in the mind. A little hypnosis does indeed go a long way. Thank you very much. I do love card magic. 